Hi guys, it is January 23rd, 2015. Before I start this video, I just wanted to say that for those who have subscribed to Never Lose Truth, not knowing that I have a primary channel, Kafka Winston World, which was terminated and now is back up as of yesterday, I hope you come over and subscribe to Kafka Winston World. I'm going to be making the shift back to Kafka Winston World because it is my primary channel and I will be posting there primarily. So I do hope that you come over and subscribe. And thank you for subscribing to Never Lose Truth. Now, why am I here at a video that I posted on my channel 10 days ago? Aussies try to stop Dr. Ten Penny from speaking out about vaccines in Australia, which I will link to below and you can watch this video. Why am I showing you this? Because they won. They won. Dr. Ten Penny's trip to Australia has been canceled. They won. The fascist, excuse my language, pigs won. The loss of freedom of speech is not just happening in the United States. It's happening in every Western country with a rapidity that is head spinning and they're winning. And why are they winning? Because they don't have much of a fight against them. That's why they're winning. I don't like, I don't like psychopathic people without a conscience winning. I don't like evil winning. I don't like fascist winning. I don't like people shutting up other people from giving a talk. I don't like them winning. It really pisses me off. You post anything about Sandy Hook and you risk getting your channel terminated. You want to talk about vaccines, an expert in vaccines, a doctor who was just visiting Australia and agreed, was invited to talk on vaccines to a very small audience in just a few locations in Australia. And when it was found out by some parenthood organization, they mobilized and they made her into a monster, painted as a disseminator, not merely a false doctrine, but dangerous suggestions. That's right. A doctor who's an expert in vaccines, who understands the dangers, who simply wants to educate people so that they have that informed consent, which has become obsolete, obsolete. Doctors don't give informed consent anymore. Here's a woman who just simply wants to inform people about the dangers and the risks of vaccines, and she is shut up by some fascist, horrible group called Stop the Australian Anti-Vaccination Network. You know, this should wake up everybody. A doctor wants to give a talk to a small audience and suddenly there is this mobilization to get her to shut up. And in that video that I posted on my channel, you'll hear they even went so far as to revoke her visa to Australia to make sure that she doesn't open her mouth so nobody hears, no one will hear the risks associated with vaccines. This really is very upsetting to me. The, the advertised petition that they the, this group sent out featured with the hashtag Stop10Penny boasts in rather jingoistic fashion a picture of Tenpenny with a map of Australia beside her covered with the words access denied. You should, you should not even allow her into the country. How dare she talk about the risks associated with vaccines. Even though there's mountains of evidence, doesn't matter. Stop her from speaking. The message ties in rather well with other threats to the sanctity of Australian health and living, a coda for fearing any challenging narratives from the outside. 
the Australian government has spent years preventing an assortment of others, notably asylum seekers, from ever coming to its shores. The sense of urgency seems to have worked. Tenpenny has canceled her tour. After several groups had canceled. This is a very courageous woman. Things were getting so hot in Australia, she cancels her tour. And just prior to that, a Dennis Skinner, who was the general manager of some club that was hosting the talk, what did he say? The club as an avenue. We don't have a position for or against this. We just decided that the subject matter was too controversial for us to be involved in. That's why they win. That's why they win. You got these, these scared fence sitters who cave. How many people cave to these people constantly? That's why they're winning. They're fascists. They're psychopaths who unbelievably need to stop what they consider a dangerous message from just a doctor who wants to inform people about risks associated with vaccines, which is documented. And yet, these people are actually putting people at risk. But we let them do it. We keep letting them do it. We keep letting them do it. We keep letting them do it. It's really... <sighs> very upsetting. Speech is terrifying, so best not have it. <sighs> the problem with such fence-sitting rationalizations is that it vanquishes debate by removing forums to discuss them in. Well, you know, what, do I just have to accept that this is what, we're just going to sit back and let this happen? Is that what we're doing here? We're just watching this unfold? I have met so many people who can't even, they're so terrified of conflict that they can't even hold their own friends or family accountable for their lies, for their bad behavior, because they, oh, going against the status quo, or, or what, what is it with the human being? What is it that makes them so scared? You speak out about something and, and you're shamed into you know, the ground. The reason why these people are winning is because there are too few who stand up to them. That's the problem. When are we going to start standing up to these people? It, you know, it is an utter disgrace that people are Not doing anything. Not doing anything. I, I'm very upset. I'm, I am so upset about what is taking place. I don't like just sitting back and watching this unfold. And I will say this. I, I literally have no resources anymore. I was brought down. I only have my voice on a computer. I had a stroke, I had to end my practice, I was an attorney, and you have got to believe that there is so much that I want to be doing, and I can't. I am literally, I have been so immobilized by these psychopathic people in my own personal life. And the reason why I had to end my practice was because my health was destroyed. By medications put on the market, FDA approved as safe, and they were not safe. And doctors who did not give me informed consent. So this is one of the reasons why I'm rather passionate. Dr. Tenpenny wanted to give these people informed consent. She wanted to educate them so that they were able to make an informed decision about their own health and their children's health. And she got stopped from doing that. 
these organizations put at risk millions of people every single day. And one woman who is very, very courageous wanted to just give people the proper information so that they could make a wise decision so that they were not put at risk. Did, listen, I do think that one of the major reasons why we're living the nightmare we're living is because too few have the courage to stand up, hold people accountable, even just in their own personal lives. You don't see it anymore. And it, it, it is absolutely necessary. It is fundamental to having a healthy society, holding people accountable. And I do believe that Dr. Tenpenny would never have canceled her speaking to these groups if she had more backing in Australia. But instead, we've got people like Dennis Skinner, who says, oh, no, 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 too controversial. I don't want to be involved. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How many Dennis Skinners do you know in your life? And do they repulse you? Because they repulse me now. We've got to stand up to these people. We have to stand up to people like Dennis Skinner, who are just too afraid and they have to cancel something because it's too controversial. And no, we don't even have a position on it. But you know what? We don't want to be involved. We don't want to be involved. you got to stand up to those in your life who are willfully ignorant, refusing to have adult conversation, still watching mainstream media. You've got to stand up to them. And you've got to hold them accountable because they are absolutely complicit with the destruction of this country and everything that is going on. Those who just will not face the truth. They have to be slapped silly. They have to be shook, shook, shaken. They've got to snap out of it because they're destroying our lives as well. We have to hold people accountable for their immature behavior. It's not okay anymore for adults to be walking around thinking like mommy and daddy will take care of it. The president and the first lady, their mommy and daddy, they'll take care of everything. I don't have to do anything. I just have to sit back and listen to all of the lies because it's easy, because it's comfortable as the world just completely collapses around them. They're still comfortable in their little armchairs watching mainstream media. It's not okay. We have got to stand up to these people. They have got to be put in their place. They have got to be told that they have a choice. You either stand with us on the side of good or you remain, you remain with your willful ignorance on the side of evil. That's why we're living the nightmare we're living. Because we're not standing up and we're not fighting against this. It is not okay. It should not be okay with any of you. And psychopaths and narcissists run amok in our society now. The liars are out in full force and they've got to be put back in the closet. We used to hold people accountable. You know, it wasn't too long ago that people were actually afraid to behave in ways that were considered socially unacceptable. And now we have this moral relativism. Just, you know, you decide. You decide for yourself what's moral and what's not. No, there is a right and there is a wrong. There are standards that we used to have. And now we don't have any standards. Anybody can do anything that they full well please to somebody, even destroy somebody else's life, and they get away with it. Because no one stands up to them. I am upset. So Dr. Tenpenny won't be speaking. And how many of the people that could have heard her will not now and they'll end up getting a vaccine, 
which will destroy their health or destroy their children's health or their child will end up autistic or have a seizure or die because they got vaccinated. Who is the real dangerous one here? Is it really Dr. Dan Tenpenny, who simply just wants to inform people so that they can make a proper decision, an informed decision? Or is it Stop the Australian Anti-Vaccination Network? So everybody in Australia, as far as I'm concerned, should be outraged by this. And they should be targeting Australian Anti-Vaccination Network. Please don't write that I should calm down. Please don't write that I shouldn't be upset. These kinds of stories actually personally <laughs> resonate with me. But everybody should be upset about it. Everybody should be upset about what is taking place because we have an evil hitting us like a tsunami every single day now. I don't want to live I don't want to live in an evil society, and it's up to us. It's up to us to fight the evil and create a society that is healthy. If we don't do anything, then we have to accept the evil. And eventually, it will catch up to everybody's life. Eventually, everybody will be destroyed by it.